balance. Balance. We got to talk about that. I woke up today with like a little bit of an uneasiness because I realized that although in the last few days I did have one video about this, I realized I need to have even more videos about this topic to balance out the other topics, the other parts of making money, getting paid, getting rich, building generational wealth, all of those things that we are so interested in. And, and you definitely have been interested in it in on my channel. And that is why I talk about it so much because I can see the data. I can see it in the dashboard that that topic is really important to you. It's important to me too, for many reasons. I used to be homeless. I used to be on food stamps. I think it's important for us to have the ability to make money and to provide for ourselves and for our families and the people we care about and for strangers too, if we want. I think it's important that we have that muscle that we can flex anytime we need to and to build that muscle, it, it takes work. But here's the part that I think we we need to talk about. We need to talk about something. Um, I need you to know that it is okay to not be working or making money every single day of your life. Ultimately, you're an adult and you should do whatever you want. Like what, as long as it doesn't hurt anybody is my rule, my personal rule, as long as it, as long as it doesn't hurt anyone else. And especially if it helps someone else, you should do whatever you want. And I, I help teach you how to like make money while helping other people. I think that's kind of like my brand, right? So you should do whatever you want, but there's this, there's this thing of like, uh, go, 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 because that's the content, like not just with my channel and not just with Arlen's All Access, but just across the board. It's, it's a very capitalistic, especially in the U S kind of vibe. So there's a balance because I, I enjoy that and I respect it and I have fun with it. I have fun making money. I, I hope you do too. It's fun. It's especially fun because I was homeless before and I was so sad and so um, there was so much doom and gloom. It felt like when is when am, when is it going to be like okay? When am I going to be okay? And I, I I like the feeling of knowing oh I can I can take care of myself now. It took years. It took decades to get there, but I like that feeling and I want that feeling for you, which is why I talk about it. But there's also this idea of like I'm not. I'm I'm I can't keep I can't keep up. It's too much. It's overwhelming. I I can't compare to that other person. You shouldn't compare to that other person. The other person is not you. They're in their race and you're in your race. So I I just wanted to be uh, a voice for that because you got to look at what I do in in in, in addition to what I say. And that's across the board. If you're going to learn something from me, if you find me interesting, watch what I do in addition to what I say, because I usually leave clues in what I do. Like, for instance, I post daily on YouTube these days, right? Watch that. I don't necessarily say that every video, but watch that I'm doing that and wonder why I'm doing that and see if you can research that. But also watch what I do when it comes to how I treat myself. I get at least eight hours of sleep every single night. Eight hours is like the the average. The, it's not even the average. It's like the norm. And then maybe it's nine hours, depending on what day of the week it is. So that's first thing. Like I don't run myself into the ground. Now there's some medical reasons that you might not get eight hours of sleep. It's also you could have kids or a big household and it's harder to do that. I get it. But my point is, is that I am doing the things that I want to do in life, I'm, I'm succeeding in a way that I want to succeed financially. And I'm still able to get a great amount of sleep. That's like medically recommended amount of sleep. I'm also um, someone who today, it took me a long time, but today I don't do what I don't want to. Like probably started around 40. <laughs> I know that's a long time, but it started around 40. I don't do what I, I don't want to. I'm, if you're wondering, I just turned 44 as of this taping. I don't do what I don't want to do. So I don't do what doesn't align with everything else that I'm doing. That's how I can do so much. 
it, cause it's all going in the right direction, in the same direction. I also don't do anything I don't want to do. So I'm not like dreading things. So when I'm working, it's because I enjoy whatever that work is. Again, these aren't things that can happen overnight for, for you necessarily, because you might be in a position where you cannot do that. But to, to look at me and say, oh, I want a little bit of what she has, to say that without saying also, you know, I, I, she's able to do it in this way. I should be able to do it in that way, right? It, it's kind of missing it. You deserve peace and you deserve freedom. You deserve options. I want you to have all of that. I want you to have all of that. So it's okay to, it's okay to not only pause, take time off, turn your phone off, don't reply to every email or text message immediately. That's important. Not only is that okay, but you may just make more money by doing that. You may just make more money by working less. Because if you can sharpen your skills, sharpen the way things happen, the process, it will take fewer inputs to get the same output. <clears throat> I'll give you an example. I do things pretty quickly, like when it comes to like um, learning from things and then like iterating on those things and changing and optimizing. If you think about one example is I had calls, you know, I had probably a hundred calls. I like to do like a hundred of things before I hand it off to someone else. So I had a hundred calls that were brainstorming calls in the past, let's call it two weeks, something like that, right? 100 calls, brainstorming calls. And at first, I, I didn't ask the right questions in the onboarding. So I would get people on the calls who weren't really ready to do any of the options that I had, which was okay, because we could just talk and brainstorm. But I I needed more people to be ready for the call. So I you know, changed some of the questions added a couple things here and there. So I did that. And then it was better qualified. The people who were on like knew what they were coming into better. And therefore there was a better conversion rate. Then I said, well, I'm not going to have it like every day. Just, you can just book a call with me because it, <laughs> life is too short for all that. Cause it's like, I have so many things to do. I'm going to put it on very specific times of day and very specific days. And I'm going to make sure that every call is 15 minutes. Because I know personally that I personally can make that work, even though it's fast. So I did it. I did that. I, I booked 15-minute uh, calls and was able to close more than, I don't want to say 70%. And a lot of times when I didn't close, it was because I didn't think the person was the right fit for the offer. So I started off with longer calls and more calls. This is an example of doing less and making more, right? I started off, started off with longer calls and more calls. And as I iterated and I learned and I paid close attention, I started to optimize for shorter calls and in a smaller um, section of time. So it's less of my life and it's less spread out. So I don't have to think about it as much, but I actually close more, convert more. So I'm making more by doing less. This is what I want for you. This is just one example. There are other examples. There are other examples. The point is when you find yourself overwhelmed, especially in Arlen's All Access or anything that you and I are working on, I want you to know that you can pause. You can step away, go touch grass, go spend some time with someone that you have fun with, 
go watch something, go to go to a play, go to a concert, go to a museum in the middle of the day. Do whatever. Go hang out with your kids. Whatever brings you joy. And know that when you come back, it'll be right here. And that the goal is not to do as much as you can as fast as possible and keep up with everybody else and have all these different things that you can prove to other people. The goal is for you to optimize your time and your effectiveness so that you can have outcomes that are second nature to you that help you. So instead of you working for someone else day in and day out and having really no control over if that person is going to keep you employed or not. And if you like the job or if you like the people, instead of that, you can look at the top of your week and say, I want to work on Wednesday and I want to work on Friday and I work maybe a little bit on Sunday. And the rest of it, I don't know. Let me, fi let me figure that out. I want you to go from being the corporate person you are or the retail person you are or the you know medical person or the coach person you are today to being like a creative. <laughs> We're always teaching creatives how to be entrepreneurs. I'm going to teach you how to live like a creative because some creatives, and if you are a creative, obviously you know this, some, some creatives need less structure. It's like, some, you can't tell me when to write. You can't tell me when to write my book. I'm not going to say, oh, on this day, I'm going to start writing and it's going to be good. You can't tell me when to paint. You can't tell someone when to take photos. It's, it's, it's inspired. It's when you're inspired to do so. So I want you to feel inspired to work, inspired to make sales, inspired to deliver on those sales rather than got to get, got to clock in and I got to clock in every day and I got to run myself into the, to the ground for this to work. That's what I want for you. So I wanted us to have that conversation. Know that it's possible. Know that you can take a break and come back. And a break can be an hour, can be a day, can be a weekend. It can be weeks. You can take a break from your entrepreneurship and it'll be okay. It will be okay. You will be okay. As long as when you are working on your entrepreneurship, you're locked.